Hello, my beautiful Cancer Dragons. Welcome to your mid-May reading for 2022. Or if you happen to see this and it isn't mid-May, um, maybe not even 2022, um, you <laughs> there might still be relevance to it. So sometimes energy works in mysterious ways. So let's go ahead and see what's coming out. You keep getting these huge drops. So let's see for my beautiful cancers. So I'm just taking some cards from my healing deck and um, this isn't really a specific reading whatsoever. Yours, uh, <laughs> yours is turning into something else, but, um, Anyways, so what I have for you guys is love letting go and pay attention to the signs. Um, there could be so many things around this. Um, you're obviously having to, I think that you are waiting for a sign uh, to tell you to let go of a situation. I don't know why you're hanging on. Um, I don't know why it's saying that you may have to let go of love, but let's see what we can get with the tarot. Okay, let's see. It could take an entirely different uh, direction. So, and it doesn't mean that it's like relationship or sorry, like um, I was going to say relationship love, but it like a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband. I hate saying that. Uh, romantic. There we go. It's not meaning it's a romantic love. So, it doesn't matter what your preferences are. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Because it could, I don't know, pay attention to the signs though. <sighs> what is? What does cancer need to know? Yeah, I'm not taking all those. I'm not going to take all. Yeah, guys. Okay, no more books, please. No more books, please, one at a time. There we go. That was much better. <laughs> so, oh, see. cancer. I'll take that. Yeah, this is going to be the last one for now. Okay, so let's see. For under love, you have Ace of Cups in reverse. So I feel like there was something that um, that was supposed to happen, but it didn't even get going. Like it was sort of blocked or so something was supposed to happen and it didn't. Um, and it just got blocked. And I think that that might be something that you may be hanging on to. Now back here under letting go and paying attention to the signs, you do have the king of wands in reverse, which is somebody who is very um, ruthless, very brutal, um, very arrogant and controlling big anger, right? Big temper. So, um, and also fire and you guys are water. It's sort of like if you were with somebody, like it's almost like they're, I don't think they're the ones that had to do with this. They might've been blocking you from something that you had wanted. I don't, I don't, let's keep going and see where this goes. So we have the 10 of swords you're making a clean break from the past. You're trying to, and that's the thing is I have a feeling like this is a past person. I don't know if they interfered somehow with you trying to move on, with you trying to find love. We have the tower in reverse. Yeah, it wasn't your it wasn't your issue to solve, but this person made it your issue. It wasn't, um, it, it was somebody else's tower, but you actually avoided anything to do with it. And by avoiding anything to do with this situation, I, I'm feeling like you also put a stop to all, like you put a stop to everything. What's going on with you guys? Judgment in reverse. Again, it's, um, you, you haven't been controlling your life. Um, there were other factors at work. It's like, it's almost like what I'm hearing is that you partially gave up half of your control, but
but also that somebody also took some too. And it's just like, I, I think that you were not feeling up to par. Knight of Cups. Page of Swords in reverse. Sorry, guys. I'm just, um, you've been having trouble getting it together in your, uh, in your emotions, right? Like you've been having a hard time getting it together. And it's just because of all of this. Like you have somebody who has really, yeah, look, gossiping. Um, it's the Three of Cups in reverse. Could be an affair. Um, no support. Like it's just like, it's just... Seven of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Now, this is about, um, it's about getting caught, but also about breaking free from mental challenges, right? It, so the Seven of Swords in reverse is sort of weird. It's one of those cards that has a lot of meanings. And you're, you're trying to get control over your mind. Yeah. And look, the four of swords, you, um, you're, you're trying to take the time to rest. Look, because look, here's this heart and it looks like it's crocheted or something, but it's like, you've been trying to like heal your heart from a lot. I don't know why. So like, you really have to let go of whatever this situation is. And it's funny because back here in love, there's this like essentially two cards. And I don't get the feeling that it's old. I'm get, getting the feeling like it didn't even get a chance to move, right? You're having to let go of the situation and really pay attention to the signs. I feel that this has been going on long enough. And whatever it is that's happening, um, it just has to end. Like, it's just it's got to go. Like, you're dealing with... Um, a situation that's very king of wands in reverse it doesn't just because it's a king of wands it doesn't mean it's um a male but it's this heavy masculine negative controlling energy okay we have the king of pentacles in reverse we have death in reverse and we have the ten of pentacles so with the knight of pentacles in reverse it's, it's almost as though you keep getting these unwelcome, um, like news, maybe health and money and all that, but it's, you use that as an excuse to stop yourself from going. Now I need to say this because honestly, if you guys, if this is you and you're watching tarot, I, I don't know, this seems like it might be a cross watching energy. Okay. Maybe it is you and maybe you just need to hear some hard truths, but this might really be somebody that you're dealing with. It's like they get, it's almost like whoever this is, it's like they let every little thing be a, um, excuse to procrastinate, to get things done because they just keep going back and going back really at the end of the day. You know, I think everybody um, does hope for the Ten of Pentacles. Everybody wants stability and wants health and wants all that. But it's more a matter of, well, how badly do you want it? Because you're continuing to let everything be an excuse. And so when when is that going to change? Um, I'm just trying to call in to see if there's any other way that this could be interpreted. Not really, with the way the cards have come out. Oh, just a second, guys. That was, that was a bad shuffle. So let me see. Let me see. Is there any clarification? Any clarification? Hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. So we have the fool that's come out in the reverse. So, um, there's, it's almost like 
when you do try to move ahead, you don't move ahead with the best of, um, <sighs> whoever this is, whenever they try to make progress or move ahead, they sort of do it in a way that sets them up for failure because you have your nine of cups in reverse, right? And it's like, I think that it's like, this is, yeah, this is just, it's a lot of like, this person could be, um, like I said, like, this is a lot of health. This could be like weight gain. This could be, um, like just a lot of um, like greed, right? So, you know, that, that is weight gain. It's like greed is like, it's a blockage with the money side of things, materialism, right? So it's just like, it's almost like, like, oh, I just hear that it's just whenever they go to take a step forward, it's like, what are you doing? Like, why are you doing it like that? You know, it's just like, have you not listened to anything that we've been talking about? Like this, I don't know where I'm getting this, but this is where I'm hearing this from. So, oh my gosh, cancers. If you're dealing with somebody like this, if this has been going on for a long time, you need to, you need to move away. Okay, this is what this is telling you. Look at this three, the three of wands, right? So this is about getting on a new path um, and about about just like finding finding a new a new way, right? Moving forward um, in positive relationships. Ugh. Guys, like I said, don't shoot the messenger, but I don't think that if this is you either... You're, you're very down and you're not, and you maybe need to hear the herd love message. For most of you, I'm hearing that it's probably somebody that you're dealing with who isn't listening and you're just being guided to save yourself and to move along. Rainbow dragon brings the leap of joy that opens new doors. Yeah. And I'm hearing it's not with this person. Okay. Have trust rediscover wisdom, expect miracles, and accept opportunities. If this is you, you need to have faith and have trust, right? And you need to expect miracles. Because I think in this case, um, something has gotten you so down, and I don't know what it is, that you actually don't really think that you deserve to be happy. You don't think that you deserve to have whatever this was supposed to be. Right. I don't know if this is still there. You're still thinking about it. It's still in the energy. I wouldn't really say to, you know, go back after it because a lot of stuff has to happen here. Okay, guys, so please do like and subscribe. I do thank you for your support for my tiny channel. I am doing bonus readings, and if I don't have time, I go by the number of likes and um, comments, subscribes. I sort of do an overall glance. So, be sure to say hi, okay? Thanks, guys. Bye.